The product that we have chosen for this assessment is water crackers. Our brand name is Forsklet Crackers and we are targeting at audiences at social functions. The word Forsklet is derived from the Norwegian language indicating that our crackers are from Norway. Slides, I will explain our advertising storyboard. Our first scene will show the context of our advertisement, which is the wedding party. The bride and the groom kissing as this demonstrates the romantic atmosphere which our ad wishes to show. The second scene is one of the crowds in the wedding party clapping and cheering for the couple. So except from the romance, we will also wish to demonstrate the emotions of happiness at the wedding. The third scene will be focused on the woman who is clapping and smiling slightly. It shows that she is isolated due to the background being blurred. Also, it can show that the contrast between her feeling lonely and the cheerful crowd shown in the second scene. Scene 4 will be in another scene setting, which people are enjoying themselves at the after party, chatting and socialising with friends while the, while, the, while the woman is on her own, talking to no one but making her way to the table. Scene 5 will be filmed from the woman's view looking towards the table, viewing the food on display, then we will focus on her hand grabbing the cracker. Out of nowhere, another hand appears to grab the same cracker. This shows the moment when the woman grabs the cracker, another hand appears out of nowhere to grab the same cracker as well as her. This scene is linked with the next scene closely because it is when the two main characters first met. After the moment they grab the same cracker, scene 7 will then show the man and the woman's first interaction. The woman looks up to the man and their eyes meet. Scene 8 is a quick shot of the woman's throat swallowing to imply that she is nervous in interacting with the man. The man has performed a nice and welcoming attitude towards the woman by smiling to her in scene 9. We will zoom out the man's smiling face in this scene. The woman will then smile back in scene 10. The three scenes mentioned just now will be a really quick scene just to explain the both characters' reactions. In scene 11, the two characters will still be holding the crackers in their hand but will break it into half. The action of breaking the cracker is the climax of the ad and represents them both cracking into each other's hearts. This also leads the audience to believe the main characters have cracked into each other's hearts as the water cracker is a symbol of finding love. We will end our last scene with our brand name and our slogan, Fallers Kit Crackers, Cracking Into Your Heart. For the music part, we wish to create a calm and romantic atmosphere for our audience which can bring the attention to our love story themed advertisement. We will choose a background music similar to the Mokena advertisement where soft piano music is played. The tempo of the music is slow paced until the two people meet. It will then speed up to indicate that it's more lively as well as to imply the character's inner emotion that they are nervous and anticipate. At the end of our advertisement, there will be a voiceover of a man with a deep and soft voice repeating our brand name and slogan message, Forest Cat Crackers, Cracking Into Your Heart. I will now show the branding concept that we're using for this advertisement. The branding concept that we are using is relationship branding. According to Helen Vade, in her book Secrets of Branding Reveal, a designer should highlight aspects of the unique relationship that a customer has with that brand. We are providing a unique experience for the consumers by suggesting that the brand of crackers is associated with falling in love. Therefore, when these crackers are purchased, it has a perceived value as it is associated with falling in love or finding a partner. Due to the advertisement being in a formal social setting with well-dressed people, a wedding, it implies that the target audience is slightly upper class 
and the setting for eating these watercrackers is at former events. Therefore, this brand's reputation is one that is exquisite and sociable. For the brand name, we're using for a skit. It's a Norwegian word with a definition of intoxicatingly euphoric feeling you experience when you're first falling in love. According to Marcel Dennessy in semiotizing a product into a brand, suggestive names are metaphors referring to domains of meaning to which the brand is linked. Through the suggestive name for a skit, we are showing that brand name has the power to create this feeling through events with the watercracker. We are also showing that these watercrackers are originally from Norway, though an audience may not know this unless they look up the meaning of the word for a skit. As for the slogan part, we're using for a skit cracker, cracking into your heart. Marcel also mentioned a rhetorical conceptual strategy in slogan creation, imperative statements, which create the illusion of that advice is coming from an unseen autoritative or divinatory source. This slogan brings together the team explained throughout this storyboard with a play on words using crack to represent being capable of winning over a lover and sharing the experience. In the theory part, this is a structural context with a combination of motion, visual and oral elements. It also showcases a product at the end with a slogan which allows the audience to recognize that this text is an advertisement view through television. The text advances the story of finding love through social events with water crackles, which means that it also has a narrative context. In the wedding scenes, the white formal dress and tuxedo are both coats that suggest a formal event is taking place, and the long intricately detailed white dress in particular is a conventional sign of purity and marriage. Another icon that would make the event taking place understandable to the audience is the use of a wedding arch. Wedding arches are an icon that are not interpreted to have any other meaning than that of being at the altar of wedding. As an audience, it is understood through Australian culture, perhaps religion and education that the wedding being held is a conventional sign that represents two people who are in love making a life commitment to one another. This setting indicates that there is a driven need in society to find the love of your life. This is a social event whereby body language, such as the hand clapping, becomes an index of celebration and achievement for the newly married couple. Throughout the advertisement, the scenes incorporate coats of soft pastel colors, in particular pink, which is a feminine color with arbitrary connection to love, which assists the audience in understanding that the genre is romance and most likely directed at female audience members. Throughout the storyboard, the audience can identify the main woman's facial expressions. When she is applauding the married couple, the corners of her lips form a slight smile as she is happy for the couple, but something is holding her back. The audience then sees through codes of blurring the background and focusing solely on her that she is rather isolated, and thus we can understand that she is lonely. This is also exemplified by the scene where the woman is walking through a crowd without socialising even though others are. As the woman approaches the food table and is drawn to the crackers, intertextual framing starts to take place. As she grabs a cracker and another hand reaches for the same cracker, we rely on the audience being familiar with the text The Lady and the Tramp, with the well-known scene where the two dogs at a table are sharing food and picking up the same string of spaghetti, which allows them to kiss. The same principle of sharing food and, romant and romance arises in this storyboard thus connecting people to draw a common conclusion about the situation that follows from the hands reaching the watercracker. The woman's gulp of the throat is another index of her being nervous in the situation. It could also indicate that she has a dry throat, but as this scene relates to romance, it is likely that the audience would not assume this was the case. The man and woman then proceed to crack the watercracker in half, though the meaning of this action is not understood until the next scene with the slogan appears. 
As the audience reads the words cracking into your heart, it connotates vulnerability, openness, and a desire for love.